Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today I will be talking about concatenation, an important topic for SAS students. So what is concatenation? What are the ways of concatenating? What are the types of concatenating? I will explain it to you. And in last, I will also discuss few important interview questions. So let's begin. Concatenation, that is joining of two or more string to form a single string. What does that mean? It means I am going to try to join two or even more strings together. For example, over here you can see A is equal to my name is and B is equal to Kirti. Now if I join A and B, I will I have named it as C which is equal to my name is Kirti. Now this is known as your concatenation. Now what are the ways of concatenating? So there are multiple ways. I will be discussing you the four important ways of concatenating. You can see over here the number one manual method or operator method using vertical pipe. So vertical pipe you will use double vertical pipe and you can find this in your keyboard. Next three methods are cat, catx and cat s. So there is slight difference between all these three methods which I will be discussing too. Now first we will move on to our vertical pipe method. So over here you can see this. I will take the same example. So over here you can see I have given data, data set name a is equal to my name is. Why is it enclosed within the quoted string? Because it is in character. B is equal to Kirti. Now I want to join A and B. So I have given a new variable name C is equal to A. I have used double vertical pipe B semicolon and run. So if I run this, you will find that my name is Kirti came. But can you see my name is one string and Kirti is one string. But there is no space between them. Let's say we want to insert a space between it. So for that you can use in enclosed quotation you can use a space like this and now if you run it you will find a space in it can you see see you have got that space but can we insert only space here no nothing like that we can insert some special characters also let's say I want to insert star now if I run this I will find a star between is and Kirti there you go you can see that right now let's move to the next one which is cat now cat you need to remember two points about it because it's an interview question what is the difference between cat and catx so first i'll talk about cat so it does not remove your leading and trailing blanks the leading blanks are the one which are before the text and trailing blanks are the one which are after a text. So for example you can see this portion will be known as leading blank and this portion after my will be known as trailing blank. Correct? So it is not gonna remove that and returns a concatenated character string. It will join the string but will not remove these blanks plus the delimiter delimiter is what a separator here you had inserted star which is a delimiter right but here we cannot insert delimiter these two point are important about cat so over here i have given data data set name a is equal to my b is equal to name c is equal to s d is equal to shubham if you count it it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. The length would be 15. But as I told you, it does not remove leading and trailing blanks. So even in length, that will come. Can you see in is I have given 1 and 1 here. So 17, 15 plus 2, 17. Then here I have given 5. And here also I have given 5. So it is 27. So length will be 27 as it is not going to remove those spaces. So you can see my name is Shubham. Why can you see a blank over here? Remember I have given one blank for S and one blank here and five blanks here and five blanks here. Correct? So overall length came to be 27 as I told you. Now we can move on. Okay, let's... It might be confusing. So what I'll do is remove all the blanks for now. Now if I run this 
you can see the string is continuous there is no gap there is no delimiter or a separator and the length is 15 okay now what uh, is cat s so this one delimiter or separator cannot be inserted just like your cat but it can remove the leading and the trailing blank and it will again help you to write the concatenated character string so over here you can see i have the leading blank see right now what i told you it can remove that leading blank but you cannot insert a delimiter so length it should have been 20 actually but it will be now 15 itself because it will remove that leading blank can you see that and see this has to be 15 so this is how cat s and cat differs now the last function is your cat x what is cat x doing so this one will remove your leading and trailing blank you can insert a delimiter also and it returns the concatenated string so over here i can remove the blanks also i can insert the delimiter also so there will be a slight change in the syntax till now what was it variable name is equal to cat or cat s open parenthesis source or the string so i provided all the string separated by a comma now here as i told you i can insert a delimiter so obviously variable name is equal to cat x first i will insert the delimiter in the quoted string so for now i have given delimiter as a blank then i have given the source and i have also written that i want to find out the length right now if i run it you can see my name is shubham and the length will be 18 because you have 1 2 and 3 blanks inserted 15 plus 3 18 so this is how your cat x differs now let's talk about three important interview questions so the interview questions over here are difference between cat and cat x so there are two difference cat it does not remove leading and trailing blanks but in cat x it will remove then uh, in cat you cannot insert the delimiter in cat x you can insert a delimiter what are the ways of concatenation very simple we have a manual method using vertical pipe second cat third cat s four cat x okay now the last question which is interesting and you need to try it is how will you concatenate a string okay and make it in uppercase and same string okay they want you to make it uppercase in the same code in the same code i don't want you to separately write it i want you to write it in the same code so over here i have done it you can see so x is equal to rahul you can see r is capital but all others are in lower case and y is equal to sharma where a and r are uppercase but all others are lower case i want to make all of them uppercase and i also want to insert a delimiter so two ways I have shown you can see a is equal to upcase open parenthesis cat x again open parenthesis blank within enclosed string enclosed quotation comma string that is x comma y and close it close both the parenthesis right and semicolon so and one more method what I used is your manual method where I did upcase your x and then concatenated with your upcase y so if I run this you can clearly see that your Rahul Sharma is having a one space and it is all in upcase and same way even for Z also you can see Rahul Sharma so this is how it works but if I twist the question where I tell in it in uppercase and make it in uppercase only first string now I want to upcase only my first string that is x so that time only manual method will be useful where I can remove this right and write it like this so what will happen Rahul will come in uppercase but the Sharma will come how as it is right so this is how they can twist the question and ask you 
I hope I am very clear with my uh, concatenation class and please stay tuned daily I will be uploading one video regarding SAS. Thank you all.